Hi, I'm Gary Kong, and I'm going to go over a game I recently developed using Tableau and Tableau's JavaScript API, along with .NET, MVC, C Sharp, and Teller controls with Microsoft SQL Server as our database. So with the JavaScript API event listeners, you can select multiple objects and get the data from the selected objects and manipulate that data. So we happen to be using .NET, MVC, C Sharp, Teller controls, and Microsoft SQL Server as our database, but you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. So we plan to present this at the UCSF Sharecase Convention on October 10th, 2019. So without further ado, let me click on our site and demo this to you. It's going to bring up our login screen. I'm going to log in with my user ID and password. So underneath the celebrities header, I'm going to click on select celebrities. It's going to bring up a dashboard from Tableau Public. So here's a collage of celebrities. And over here it says select either three or four celebrities. So if I don't select any celebrities and I click on post celebrities, it's going to say no celebrities selected must select either three or four celebrities. So I'll click OK. And if I select only two celebrities, hold down the control key, click on Charlie Theron, and how about Thor, Chris Hemsworth? And then click post celebrities. It's going to say you need to select either three or four celebrities. So I'll click OK. And since I already have Charlie Theron and Chris Hemsworth, which is Thor, selected, all I need to do is select one or two more celebrities. So I'll hold down the control key and I'll select how about how about Scarlett Johansson and and Frank Sinatra O Blue Eyes. So here are my selected celebrities. So now I'm going to click post celebrities and it's going to bring up another interface. So now we're in .NET MVC C Sharp. Initially we were in Tableau. So this, this is a drag and drop sorting interface and a Telerik component grid. So we use Telerik a lot for our spreadsheet components, our, our grid. So I strongly recommend using Telerik components, which is a third party tool. So here's Frank Sinatra. I'm gonna drag him to the very top. Let's drag Charlie Theron to the bottom and let's make Scarlett Johansson second. So now I'm ready to go to my Feel Lucky game. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you? That's from a Clint Eastwood Dirty Harry movie. So I'm going to click Feel Lucky game. And here's my sorted celebrities, my four sorted celebrities. And it says here, your sorted celebrities must match our random sorted celebrities. And you have three tries. We can increase the number of tries, but for now, let's just leave it the way it is. And let me click start game and I'm going to roll my dice and we have to match all four celebrities. And over here it says, sorry, try again. So in here, God, nobody matched here. It says you have two tries left. So I'll try again. Rub my four leaf clover. Da -dun -da -dun -da. Mm -hmm. Sorry, try one last time. We have one try left. So in here, God, nobody match. And I have to match all four celebrities, so having four celebrities is really hard. Man, I gotta rub my four leaf clover, rub my lucky stars, rub Scarlett Johansson, rub Charlie Theron. And now I'll try again, I'll roll my dice. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Winner, come on. So, so I rub Charlie Theron right here and Scarlett Johansson, they match, but Frank Sinatra and Thor did not. Come on, Frank Sinatra and Thor, do your job, man. Oh, it says, sorry, next time. So that's it, that's it for this one. So in order to increase my odds, let me go home. I can go to set game tries and I can increase the number. Right now it says three, but I can increase that number. It says range must be between one to 10. So if I try putting something like 11, and click save changes it's gonna say the value must be between 1 and 10 so I can put 10 which is a lot of tries and that's a max and click save changes it says save successful and now I'm gonna to go to edit celebrities and I'm gonna remove a celebrity to increase my odds I'll delete how about Charlie Theron it's gonna ask for confirmation okay 
save changes, delete successful. So now I only have three celebrities as opposed to four initially. So now I'm going to sort my celebrities. Since Frank Sinatra did not give me good luck, I'm going to put them to the bottom. And now I have Scarlett Johansson on top. But since, since Thor has superpowers, I'm going to bring them on top. I'm going to drag them on top. And now I'm going to click on my Feel Lucky Game. And here are my new three sorted celebrities. I mean, they're not new, they're the same one. I just removed Charlie Theron, but now I have three sorted celebrities. And I have ten tries. And I have Thor first now with superpowers. So he's going to give me really good luck. So now I'm going to rub my four leaves of clover. Rub Scarlett Johansson. Click Start Game. Roll my dice. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. Sorry, try again. So, God, nobody matched here. Nobody matched. Come on, guys. I'm going to rub Scarlett Johansson. Rub my Lucky Stars. Four Leaf Clover. Dice. Rub my face. Try again. Roll that dice. Da -dun -da -dun -dun. <laughs> winner. Come on, winner. Yeah, I'm awesome, man. So all three celebrities matched. So if you're able to match all four celebrities, if you have four celebrities and you match that, you definitely deserve a bigger prize. So over here we have player information. I can click on that. And we plan to network with other people so they can enter their name, their department, their email, phone number, and notes here. And they can do this either before playing the game or after playing the game. So here's my feel lucky game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. So let's minimize this guy. Let me.